tell you a little bit about how the Stone Age came to an end because we call it the Stone Age because stone was the strongest material they had to make tools from. And so they used stone to make tools like hand axes, knives and other things for everyday jobs to help keep them alive. All through the Stone Age, lying in the ground, was this bluey green stone. Very colourful. And for most of the Stone Age people would have just looked at it and said, oh that's a nice bluey green stone. But they didn't yet know what secrets it held. But towards the end of the Stone Age, people found that if you ground this stone up, if you ground the bluey green stuff in this stone up and you put it near a fire that was hotter than a normal campfire, maybe like a kiln for making pots, if you put it in one of those where the temperatures get really high, this bluey green stone began to change. And at the end of heating it up, sometimes more than once, you didn't have bluey green stone, but instead you had an orangey brown metal called copper. And this metal was the very first type of metal that people were able to make for themselves after the Stone Age. And once they did make this metal, they realised that the tools they could make from it were much stronger than stone tools, they could last longer, they could do more work, and so the Copper Age began. So the secret to discovering metal was knowing what to do with this bluey green stone. And if you look closely at copper, when it begins to go a bit rusty, you can still see the bluey green appearing in the colouring of the metal. Now this particular piece of metal is a copy of an axe head that was discovered next to the body of a man who was frozen in ice over 5,000 years ago and we call him Ötzi the Iceman. And Ötzi the Iceman didn't just have a copper axe blade with him. The things that were found with Ötzi the Iceman were so well preserved that Ötzi had his complete axe. This is a copy of it. It looked a little bit like this. And it was found a few yards from where he was found, frozen solid in ice for over 5,000 years. And its top was held on with rawhide. And Ötzi's axe was a little bit, the, the tip of Ötzi's axe is a little bit shorter than mine, had a little bit more wood, a little bit more binding on it. And it had a little loop on it there, made of some sort of leather, which might have just held it on the side of his clothes. And a handle made of yew wood. That's Ötzi's axe. Now Ötzi was around at the very beginning of the Copper Age and we know this because some of his other tools were not made of copper. They were still made of stone. He had a stone knife. He had stone arrowheads on his bow and arrow. So we know that in the early part of the Copper Age not everybody used copper for everything and stone tools stayed around for a lot longer. The Copper Age then led into something called the Bronze Age because after a while people realised you could actually make an even stronger metal than copper by mixing it with another metal called tin. And once they mixed those two together they had bronze. So you often hear about the Bronze Age but you don't always hear about the Copper Age which is when it all began. Three more things from the Copper Age to show you. These are copies of three blades that were found in Britain. And they were found next to the body of a person who had been buried thousands of years ago and we call him the Amesbury Archer. And I'm not going to say much more about him because I think you might have some fun finding out a bit more about him. But what I've done is I've taken copies of the three blades and I've put them onto different types of handle. So I don't know for sure that the Amesbury Archer's tools look like these 
but I've put one of the blade onto a piece of bone, just there, using Stone Age glue to glue it into place. I put another blade onto a piece of reindeer antler, just there, and the third one has been put onto a piece of oak wood to make a nice solid handle for it. And I've put Stone Age type bindings on it as well to hold it all into place and I've glued the blade in with Stone Age glue. So this person, the person who owned these was living in the Copper Age but they were still using the string and the glue and the types of handles that people would have used in the Stone Age. All that's changed is what they made the blade out of. So have a look. Find out more. See if you can find out about the Amesbury archer who lived in the Copper Age. Thank you.